Hi and welcome to this Fusion 360 tutorial. Today we're going to look at the scale feature in Fusion. If you'd like a copy of the completed model, please check the link in the description below and we'll jump straight into Fusion. So what we're going to look at now is the scale tool. So if we go up to modify and we come down, we have scale and it gives us again a preview of you know, how to use this tool or the outcome of using this tool or feature. So if we click on scale, we then got some options here. So entities, we want to select, say, this body. We want to scale this body. Now, before we go through some of these options, we need to think about, okay, why we're going to use scale or where we're going to use it. So say if I wanted to change the overall scale of this design, what I would do, okay, because I've got the design history, I'd actually probably go back in time and edit some of the sketches and some of the features and scale that up or down depending on what I wanted to achieve. Now, if I didn't have the, the history and, this, and I had, say, what's called an imported or derived part, so that means it's a design that's been downloaded off the internet, it's been generated in a different program and imported into Fusion, then this is where I may use the scale. Because, I don't know, say, for example, this is this sort of part of the design, which is a cube, Say it's 50 millimeters by 50 millimeters, okay, in height and width and depth. Then I might want to change that. I might want to double that in size, for example. So it's important, okay, to think about where and when you're going to use the scale, okay? The scale is not really a tool to use if you've done something wrong in terms of your dimensions, okay? Good technique is to go back and change those dimensions either in the sketch or the features. So, what we've done then is we've selected the feature, or we've selected this body. Okay, by just clicking on it, and we could also, if we had a number of bodies, okay, select the body under bodies here. The point is, you could choose a particular point, okay, on design to scale it about. And you can even look at your origin and choose that, okay, as your point. So I'm going to choose from the origin, okay, the point where I want to uh, change the scale and the moment we've got uniform so if we go one one is a hundred percent so if I go to two okay that is double the size so I've gone from a hundred percent to two hundred percent if I go to 0 0.5 okay that is going 50 percent of the size so again you can change these numbers here to depending on what you want to achieve Okay, so I've gone to 0.5. Now on the screen, when you're zooming in and out, it doesn't look like it's changed, okay? But if I go before this option here and take a measurement, so I've, if I measure, say, that diameter, which is 30, and I've gone half scale, and I measure that one there, Okay, it is now 15 because I've gone half size, half the size. Again, if we go into here and edit that and change that to 2 and come out and measure this again. Okay, you see the diameter is 60. Okay, so what we've done there, we've scaled, scaled that design, okay, uniformly. So the width, the height, the depth, everything changes within the same sort of parameters or scale. If we go back into that and go edit again, and we've got two, so this is double. If we just go change that back to one, so we're full scale, okay, 100%, and we've gone into non-uniform, we can then change the scale, okay, depending, okay, in, on the X, Y, and Z uh, scale. So, for example, we could type in two on the X, and you can see it's stretched this across here, so that's twice the dimension, okay? Uh, if I wanted to change it in Y, I could go 2. And then I could leave the Z, so in terms of the Z, okay, the 100%, okay, or 1 to 1, and click OK. And you can see that's, okay, scaled, okay, that design, in a quite a weird way, but that might be what you want to achieve. So that's, okay scaling it using non-uniform. So we've looked at scale, 
in terms of uniform and non-uniform. So if I go to and click OK. Another thing to consider when you're scaling is wall thicknesses. So this shell here was originally, so if we go back to here, we shelled that out originally one and a half millimeters. And therefore we might want to obviously scale that up. Okay. And we've scaled that up twice. So that's 200% the size. And if we now go into measure and we measure, say from that side to, if I spit this around to that side, okay it is three millimeters that distance across there now so when you are scaling okay you are scaling everything including diameters radiuses fillets extrudes okay and including the shell thickness and that's important if you're thinking about you know making this design using a particular technique so for example if i wanted to say I've shelled this out, okay, at one and a half millimeters, which is quite thin. So if I change that to say three millimeters, okay, before the scaling, I send that to a 3D printer, okay, that's gonna 3D print that to the size exact size I want it to be, including that distance there. So three millimeters. So that's good, that's fine. But now I've scaled it up. Okay, or if I scale it down, for example, okay, to 0 0.5, that's got a lot thinner. So therefore, if I go too thin, depending on the technique I'm gonna to use to manufacture it, so it's say 3D printing, it could fail, okay? So you really gotta think about where you place the scale, okay, all right, in the timeline of a design, and also, especially if it's got shells, what you might want to do, okay, is, for example, if I delete that there, what I might want to do first is, right, I've got this design here, okay, I want to make this, but I want to scale it down half the size, then, okay, apply, okay, the shell afterwards. So therefore, you've got full control of the shell after the scaling, okay? Thanks for watching and if you found this content helpful please click like and subscribe and also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description. I'll see you on the next one.